Yes! Trench Safety Week. I know what you're thinking. Finally, a national holiday worth celebrating. I'm Troy Maris, and on behalf of Power Pack, I'm honored to present today's video topic, trench safety. Basic trench safety is not a difficult thing to achieve. Shoot, if you can count to five, you're well on your way. What I need you to do is follow the two, three, four, five rule. Now, here's how it goes. The area within two feet of the entry of the excavation, it needs to be clear of all kinds of tools and equipment. This is gonna help prevent any accidental fall-ins into the excavation, as well as reduce the load on the surrounding earth, in turn helping to prevent a cave-in. All right, now we're talking ladders. Ladders must extend at least three feet above the top of the trench, allowing for safe entry and exit. Now, any trench that is four feet or deeper must have a ladder or some way of aiding entry and exit. Now, this will depend on the situation, of course, but this could include something like stairs or ramps. And if you and I are as much alike as I think we are, and you also opt to take the elevator over the stairs every time you find yourself in a hotel, then lifts also work as a way to aid entry and exit. If the excavation exceeds five feet in depth, there needs to be an actual engineered solution to prevent a cave-in. All right, so that last one, it's a little more involved than simply counting to five, but it's a very important step in the process in the two, three, four, or five method. Installing an engineered system, say like a trench box or shoring, it's not a small project but it's crucial and it needs to be done to protect yourself and your coworkers. And that's it. Following these simple rules is a great start. It is just a start, however. So make sure that you're continually addressing any additional hazards that may come up outside of the two, three, four, five method. All right, be sure to visit powerpack.net to learn more in honor of Trench Safety Week. And until next time, stay safe.